three, four Germans officers. They came to to the crematorium. Three. There we were with Dario. So, and they called them everybody for an appeal. And everybody came in. The most was. Of course, uh, I forgot to say that before that, they took already 100 guys from the crematorium, Poland. They were working too long in the Poland. They said they need them somewhere else. And after we learned that uh, they took them to Auschwitz, and Auschwitz, they killed them with, a, with an injection. Now, these 100 guys that they took, were these also Zonderkommandos? The Zonderkommando, yeah. Nobody could come into the zone to command. Nobody. We didn't have no communication with nobody. When those officers came over there, they were almost Greeks over there, about two, three hundred Greeks. And the Germans start to call numbers. So, 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 so. One hundred numbers. One hundred and fifty numbers. They put them aside. So the Greeks knew that they were going to kill them. So one guy of them said, said, uh, they're going to kill us. What about if we make the do now? Do! This do they know about when the Italian was fighting with the Greeks. They were going to do, and everybody running to each other. So, one of the Greek guys, he had a shovel on his head, and he hit the German right on the head. The German, with, a, with his hand holding his head, ran out, and start screaming. In the meantime, those Greeks, they were over there, all of them, they put them down right on the, they had a big, a big hole in it over there, there somewhere, and they start, bam, 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 they killed all of them. The Germans? The, were... the Germans, they killed all of them. Those guys, after, after they hit the, in the crematorio, one and four, and two, we heard the shotguns. We had the bullets. What's going on? Because in two, three minutes, that crematorium was circulated already from the SS. With the dogs, with the shotguns, with the whatever you call it. In two, three minutes, no, no more than that. And they killed them right away over there. How did I know that? Because I was a crematorium too. Another cousin of mine is Venezia, Isaac Venezia. He ran away from there. He went into the crematorium. And uh, somebody else, again, ran to into the crematorium. And he burned some beds way over there. He put fire on it. And the crematorium started to burn. Which crematorium was that? Do you remember? Crematorium 3 was not blow up. They put the fire on it. That uh, Isaac, Venezia, he was into the crematorium. When he saw the flames, he didn't know what to do. He went on the second floor when he was hiding, and the flame was coming up. He went to the kind of a bathroom we had over there, and the flame was coming, and he didn't know he was going to get burned, and he started hitting the floor with his feet so hard. Hitting, 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 hitting the, the floor, broke up the floor on top, the ceiling with the floor, whatever, and he came down. When he came down, he ran right on the electrical uh, wires head over there, and he was telling me all the ways that time, uh, all the time he was telling me how somebody can get away from those, from those wires, was those pointed wires they got like this. He was telling me just. Lay down like this, and just make a turn that way, holding a little bit of the wires, you can get out. This is the way it is, because they brought him to us after, and I learned it from him, the way they killed the other guys, and uh, they push him in the hole. What did he do? He got away from this wire, from the crematorium around the wires. Where did, where did he go? Did he go to Canada Commando? He was near to it. 
So the women, when he saw him, they got him and they hide him. They had him one, two days, and then the guard, the German guard, went inside and they told him, We got a guy, this and this, and this. this German, he didn't kill them. He brought it to us in crematory too. And he was working with us. Questa foto pure mostra a sinistra sono io, vicino a me c'è quel soldatino italiano che faceva parte di un gruppo alla stazione di Salonicco, la stazione ferroviaria, dopo c'era un signore, quello accanto è Isacco Venezia, un nostro parente, vicino c'è invece un ebreo argentino il quale non è stato portato via perché appunto era argentino, ha covacciato non vedo bene qua. A Maurice, è il mio fratello grande, Maurice. Tutti, anche questo, meno che il militare e l'argentino, siamo stati in campo di concentramento. I met my wife in a photograph studio. It was a little room of photograph studios because when we went in Athens, I rent that studio on top of the building. We were working over there with this Isaac Venezia I told you, which he lived from the crematorium when he was burning and he went to the Canada Commando. That guy was a technician to make uh, briefcases, suitcases of leather. So we want to make a living over there, so I rent that place and we're making this kind of, of business until they get us. <laughs> 